This is a demonstration of the Q-Tube technology as shown at IBC 2010. Q-Tube is about extending Quantel SQ Enterprise workflows beyond the TV studio to remote locations, which may be close, they may be in another part of the building, or they could be on the other side of the world. Wherever they are, Qtube relies only on a standard internet connection. At IBC 2010, we demonstrated Qtube with a workflow between Newbury in England and Amsterdam in the Netherlands. In Newbury, we made a live recording of the BBC News into an SQ server, and we showed the clips being played out and edited in the Newbury facilities. Over in Amsterdam, we were able to view and edit the Newbury content, and further to that, we were able to add locally ingested high-definition content and publish finished timelines back to the Newbury server. Our equipment in Newbury and Amsterdam was joined by only a standard internet connection of maximum 4 megabits per second. So for the rest of this presentation, you will see Jonathan via a webcam in Newbury, and you'll hear the voice of Danny in Amsterdam describing the functions and features of Project QTube. Hello, Jonathan. If you can see and hear me, just wave, say hello. Hello. You started your recording there in Newbury, Jonathan. If you could just play that out of your HD port so we can see, please. That's done for you, there, Danny. So that's the live feed going out of the HD port of our server. On the left-hand side here, I'm using a web browser. And opening that web browser, I'm going to search the Quantel server in Newbury. We can see that feed. As it's been recorded to the server, we're looking at it through a web browser with our standard internet connection. Now, if I just call up this overlay to the bottom left-hand side, we can look at this over variable bitrate. So on this connection, anywhere between 300K and 4.5 megabits. And as it increases in terms of the bandwidth that it can acquire for this connection, the picture increases and adjusts accordingly. So this is the first stage of the QTube development, being able to view content while it's been recorded. At this stage, Danny went on to show us how we can use the web browser to display logging information. Here at the bottom of the screen, you can see marks and the metadata revealed as text. So this time within a Quantel library and Quantel desktop, I'm able to take out that clip that Jonathan has been recording and I can make my own edits. So just play Continue through it. Negotiations and to lay the Mark groundwork for I the for next in. round of talks at the leadership level. And O for out. These face to face talks are critical. And take that as a section. If I move down further on, I could get closer to the frames that had just more recently been recorded. So there, mark an in point, play that through. This criticism of me was uh, very strange. It made me feel very unsettled and mark uh, an felt out like point. I freedom as well. And take that out and maybe just go back to somewhere in the middle. Mark an in point, play that through. Might not be identified as having special needs, and we're, we're really saying that it's a focus on what's going okay, on in the classroom. Okay, and take that Pe out. So just three clips, and in Quantel style, just making this an edit just by dropping one clip on top of the other. And here, this is my edit decision, and I'm going to publish that to Newbury, and I'm just going to call it Danny Remote. Okay, Danny, over here in Newbury in the UK, I've already received a Danny Remote clip. I'm just going to play this out on our HD Might port up there, as you can see. Special needs, and we're, we're really saying that it's a focus on what's... And to lay the groundwork for the next round of talks at the leadership level. This criticism of me was uh, very strange. It made me feel very unsettled and... So now I want to change the edit Danny has made. So moving over to our SQ edit, through our server bin, I'm going to pull out exactly the same clip, Danny Remote. Just going to drop that onto our timeline. As you can see, I have the ability to extend and shorten a clip. So I want to extend the middle clip just slightly. Go and jazz this clip up, add some interesting wipes.
trim the edge off and just going to publish this back to our server and I'll name this Newbury Remote well that's published I could move over to our SQ Play pull out the same clip with my transitions I made and the extended clip in the middle and play that out straight away we're really saying that it's a focus on what's and to lay the groundwork for the next and so Jonathan has played it out of the HD port, and here in Amsterdam I have that same edit, really and I can see his transitions and play that out. And to lay the groundwork for the next round of talks at the leadership level. These face-to-face -face talks are critical for both sides to continue to... This criticism of me was uh, very strange. It made me feel very unsettled and... On my PC, locally, I have some HD material that we've ingested from our P2. This is DVC Pro HD, 100 megabits. Just play through that. So this material only exists locally, and we're just going to take a section of that and add that on, extend the edit, and then publish this. So if I call this Market... So now we're sending the recipe of the edit, my edit decisions, and we're sending the HD material across. Okay, Danny, just to let you know, I've now received that clip, and I'm just going to play it out on our HD port here, and we should be able to see special needs and we're the local really ingested footage that you had over in Amsterdam that we didn't have over at the Newbury, but now we do have it. Talks at the leadership level. These face-to-face -face talks are critical for both sides to continue to... This criticism of me was uh, very strange. It made me feel very unsettled and... And there's that local ingested footage. Thank you, Jonathan. Much appreciated. That was a demonstration of the Q-Tube technology from Quantel, as shown at IBC 2010. Watch out for more product details later in the year.